Hello, my name is Henry Enfrey, and this is a Godot 2D game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an item in your game go back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, or up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, the reason that I'm making this tutorial is suppose you might want an enemy or an item or, or something in your game to move in those types of directions. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make that happen. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a 2D scene. And I'm going to double click on Node 2D and, and change the name to Item. Then, I'm going to right click Item and change the type to Area 2D. Because that's how our code is set up. It's, our code is set up to work with the Area 2D node. Okay, so I'm gonna change that. Then I'm gonna make sure your item is selected and I'm gonna click on this plus here and I'm gonna search for Sprite. Okay, got that and then I'm gonna click create. Okay, make sure Sprite is selected and I'm gonna go to this panel on the right and I'm gonna look for uh, the Sprite or picture or visual representation of the item in which I wanna see go back, forth, back, forth or up, down, up, down. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to click load. Um, I'm going to click on this item is something that I made in paint.net before this tutorial. And I saved it in my Godot assets folder. Find some kind of asset that you want to use. Uh, save it in your Godot assets folder. And then just click on that item. And me, I'm going to click on this item that I made here. So I got that. And I'm going to click open. Then I'm going to click on item again because that's what we're going to use later. I'm going to save the scene right now. Go to scene, save as item.tscn. That's good enough. And next, I'm going to set this uh, scene up so that when we launch our game, uh, we'll get this scene once our game is launched. So I'm going to click on project, project settings. Make sure run is selected. And then I'm going to choose. Okay, so. Now when we run our game, we'll get the scene here. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to this panel over here and we're gonna attach a script. We'll go down, I click this bottom, click script, click new script. Item G, that's good enough. And then I'm gonna just click these arrows here to make this bigger so that you can see everything. And I'm gonna delete all this stuff in here that's already in here. And I'm going to paste in this pre-written code that I wrote before this tutorial. Now, this code is set up to make it so that uh, this item is going to go uh, right, left, right, left. It's going to go from 0 to 100, and then back to 0, then back to 100. It's just going to keep doing that infinitely. Um, so in our script, that's what I wrote in this script. Uh, X means uh, right and left. And later you're going to see Y, which is going to mean up and down. See, X means going forward and backwards. And later we're going to see Y, which is going to go down and up, down, up, down, up. And we'll, we'll talk about that again later once we get to the Y part. Okay, so this code says the item is going to start off moving to the right direction at, at speed of one pixel per second. And once it gets to the hundredth mark, again, this hundredth mark here, it's going to then go backwards. This minus means backwards into the negative direction. And then once it gets to zero, zero here, it's going to move again to the positive direction. And it's just going to keep doing that for, for on and on forever and ever and ever. At least that's the way we got this code set up. Okay, so let's launch our game and see what happens. See, the, the item's going to forward and backwards. When it hits 100, it goes back to zero. Then zero, back to 100. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. Next, I'm going to delete all this stuff in here. And I'm going to paste in this code. Now, this has to do with the up and down direction. See, now we're dealing with the Y direction. Y means up and down. So now, our code is going to start off going down in the uh, one pixel per second. And once it reaches 100, See this hundredth marker here? Once it reaches that, 
it's going to go back up uh, one pixel per second. Um, a negative direction when we're dealing with Y means going up. That's kind of the way it usually is in computer programming. But anyway, and once it hits the zero mark, the zero mark here, it's going to start going back down again. Plus means going down in computer programming usually. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, look. So, this is working. It's going down, up, down, up, down, up down so that's what we wanted and that's all i wanted to show you you can take what you learned in this tutorial and expand on it till next time thanks bye Dude.